Consideration is often referred to as the glue of a contract or the thing that makes it binding. The Massachusetts Superior Court considered whether a claimed contract was supported by the necessary consideration in the 2009 case Marmer v. Kaufman. Paul Marmer worked as a pharmacist at the retail pharmacy that he co-owned with his father, Henry Marmer. As the years went on and Henry got older, Paul shouldered more and more responsibility at the pharmacy. In recognition of this, Henry purchased certificates of deposit in his own name as trustee for Paul. Later, Henry gave his daughter, June Marmer, a power of attorney. Henry also transferred his assets to June so that he could become eligible for Medicaid and its nursing home services in particular. Sometime after that, while acting under power of attorney, June cashed in the certificates of deposit that Henry had purchased for Paul's benefit. When Paul found out about this, he sued June for the value of the certificates, only to have his claim dismissed. June died several years later, and her son, Richard Kaufman, became the administrator of her estate. Hoping to reconcile with Paul, Richard made an oral promise to pay Paul $136,000 for the certificates and give him 50% of June's assets. At the same time, Richard orally promised to cover nursing home expenses until Henry qualified for Medicaid. When Richard failed to follow through on his promises, Paul sued him for breach of contract. Richard moved for summary judgment, arguing that, even if there was a contract, it was unenforceable for lack of consideration. Paul countered that there was consideration, namely family unity and a better tax position for June's estate. 